so guys in this part of e-commerce dashboard we will create a sign up page layout and we have to perform three major tasks first we will create a component for sign up page then we will add uh, input fields like name password email address and all then we will get this data inside states uh, so that we can send the input fields data to the apis keep in mind in this video we are not going to going to integrate api for that we will create a separate video in this video we will fo focus on creating the component input fields getting form data and adding style one more thing guys i will temporarily add a menu here so that on that click we can create a sign up uh, but after some videos whenever our, our sign up page will be ready then we will just move this link to the uh, login page so either user can log in or either user can sign up right so now let's create a component so i am putting my component name is let's say sign up dot js and you can use the rcc snippet for it to create the uh, your component faster but i will recommend you to the beginners and fresher just write your complete code uh, by typing because it will just uh, help you to re uh, to remember some code for react js right so let me just add here import react it will be a capital react from react and uh, now let's create a function because this is basically a functional component so our function name can be sign up and here let's uh, take a return function and let's take a div inside it and inside this div i am putting here a h1 tag and let's put here register or sign up whatever you want and then we will add some field but first of all let's export it and provide a link to the navigation bar and all right so just put here export default sign up and now we can import this sign up to our uh, app.ts simply put here import sign up from components why i am not getting uh, auto complete but that is okay so now let's create us again one more route for the sign up and let me add here sign up and we can replace this h1 tag with the our sign up element component like this so now let's see what we are getting on uh, okay so this is not present here let me check why okay so actually we need to just uh, add this sign up component inside the component so i am just moving it and now it should work fine right so for a moment how we can just go on that sign up page we can just directly provide the uh, url to the url bar but this is not a correct way so temporarily i am adding here one more uh, link for in navigation bar so here let's just simply put here and let's put here nav bar or no actually it's not nav bar it's it will be sign up sign up and this is the link for sign up page right now let's try to the move on that component this is working completely fine so now we have to add here some input fields then we will add some style and all right so let me just go to that page add some input field input type is text placeholder let's say enter name or something 
for a moment these both are fair enough so I am making some copy of it 2 and 3 and uh, then what we can do here we can just change this password type password because last one will be the password type password and now it will be show the dots rather than the normal text and middle one be will be the email address and at the last we can add here a button and uh, we can just say that sign up and let's add some type class name it can be let's say app button or something and again type will be button the same thing we can add some classes let's say input box to the all input boxes so that we can just make a common style for them yeah I guess this is completely ready and let's add a class to that div also it can be let's say register now let's take a look on the output this is little bit weird output all inputs are coming in a single line but that is okay we will just make some changes here so let's add to the style uh, first to the register class and simply put here margin 30 percent uh, only left right after that let's go to the input fields uh, and let me add here style first let's say padding 20 pixel is huge we can add it only uh, let's say 7 pixel uh, display block border let's say add 1 pixel solid and uh, let's add some theme color which is sky blue after that width can be let's say 300 pixel mm. margin is let's say 20 pixel right so we will add this style to the all input fields but now let's add the style for button also so let me add here a style mm. margin 20 pixel and width let's say 150 pixel 150 pixel padding let's say 10 pixel mm, background color let's say sky blue border solid with one pixel right and cursor will be the pointer so now let's add this style first for button app button so let me add this style to app.css i don't know why this is just show me these pixels and all in the next line so let me just fix them so all right after that we can simply add here dot app button so let me check that we are just putting a perfect name to it i mean the correct name to it yep after that we can add some style to the input box so let me just copy it from here and let me paste here so again i am facing the same issue but that is okay i have to just fix it and let me add, add the class name also which is input box like this and now let's uh, at the last one we can add style for uh, register class 
so it will be let's say margin left is 30 percent now everything should be fine so let me check what's going on yeah that is that is looking fun fine all right so now what we need to do here we have to just get the all these input fields data inside uh, inside some states and we will print this state on a button click in a console so now let's get back here and let me import here use state take const name set name use state by default value is blank let me add two more states which is email and set email and last one is password and send set password right so now we have to add these all states with these input fields so let me add here one more uh, line with the each so we can just simply put here value is uh, name and on change what we can do here we can just add here a event and here we can just see that it will just have a parameter with the name of e or you can just simply put here event and inside the set name just put here event dot target dot value and let me copy this all this stuff for this line to for uh, email as well as for uh, password so now let's let me just put here email and uh, we can just set here email state and last one is password and let's set the password now let's go back to the screen again is everything is working fine yep there is a no error and all you can just work everything is working great so now let's uh, just add a call a function on this button click and let's me let me just call it collect data or something let's define it here const collect data is it will be a function where we can just make a console and inside inside console let's put here name uh, email and password and now let's print all these things so if i'm putting here let's say anil which is my name password let's say anil at the rate test.com and enter password is let's say xyz and now whenever i'm just clicking over it you can see that we are just getting this data inside our console so now whenever our api will be ready which will be ready in the next video and from next next video we will integrate this api so thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel you will get this old code on on my github account link is given in the description box and you can follow me on the instagram link is also given in the description box